Good morning. I'm Superintendent Bill Furbush, and we're here for another edition of Pelham School District today. I have with me Kate, Steph, Cole, and Ryan from the middle school, well, Pelham Memorial School, and they just recently went on the DC trip, and we're excited to learn about that trip and things that they've learned on that trip and to have share their experiences with us and why it's such an important learning opportunity for our students. So the first question I have for you is, why is the DC trip so important to eighth graders? Who would like to start? I will. So I think the DC trip is so important for eighth graders because it's really important for them to be able to see the things they're learning about. And I think it helps them learn it a lot faster and it helps them keep it in their minds for a lot longer. Did you see a lot of connections to the curriculum that you're learning at school and then what you got to experience on the trip? Does someone have an example of that connection? Well, we learn about all these buildings like beforehand, but we don't have actual experiences with them. So going there in person and seeing what we're learning about is really interesting. Yeah. Nice. Like, for example, we were learning about some of the presidents and their presidencies, and then we got to see their memorials. So that was nice to see in person. Well, I know from the questions you gave me that there's a really interesting fact about the Lincoln Memorial, that there is a misspelling on the Lincoln Memorial. Who would like to tell me a little bit about that fact? Um, there is an engraving mistake on the North Wall in his second inaugural address. There is an E instead of an F in the word future. And instead of like covering it up to try and like fix the mistake, they just kept it there and and now we all yeah. see it, right? Yeah. Ryan, did you know about that mistake and did you go looking for it or did you just happen to see the mistake? Um, I knew about it at first, but I didn't know where it was. But when I got back to my hotel room, I looked it up and I realized that there's an E instead of an F in his second inaugural address in the word future. Pretty cool. I guess we all make mistakes, right? Even, yeah. even people carving into those things. You also got to see a lot of museums. Tell me about what was some of your favorite museums that you visited. Oh, I like the Natural History Museum, mainly because I just like natural history, but I liked everything in it too. Nice. Yeah. I also like the Holocaust Museum because it was like really inspiring to see what they went through. And then I really liked all the displays and like all the pictures and real items they had from the Holocaust. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, I really like the Museum of African American History because they had a whole floor dedicated to sports players and athletes. Um, and I really enjoyed reading about all the barriers that they broke and records that they broke too. Um, and one athlete in particular, Jackie Robinson, who was the first um, African American player to play in the Major League Baseball. Uh, his number, 42, is retired by every Major League Baseball team. So I enjoyed reading about that. That's fascinating. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. You went to a lot of different museums. Does anyone know how many total museums did you visit? Um, we went to the American History Museum, Natural History Museum, um, the one Ryan was just talking about. Yeah. <laughs> African American History. Yeah. And then the Holocaust Museum. And the museum. Oh, yeah, the museum, the, too. Yeah. So five, I think. Five different yeah. museums. So everyone got to see something that they were interested in. Nice. Well, thanks for sharing. Those are really exciting things. Um, I have a very specific question here. What do the 4,048 stars on the, on the wall in the World War II memorial mean? Okay, so all the stars that are on that wall mark, mean, I mean, mean, 100 people dead in this, so... That's what, and did you learn that on the trip? Or did yes, you, yeah. from our tour guide. Yeah. Tell me about the tour guides. Where, where, who, who led you around D.C.? Um, when we arrive in Philadelphia, a tour guide meets us, and they'll show us around Philly, mm -hmm. around like Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell. And then we'll bring the tour guide down to D.C., and they'll show us around there. And when we're on our way back home, we'll drop them off in Philadelphia, and then... 
but just make our way back home. Nice. How much time did you spend in Philadelphia? We, we always talk about the D.C. trip, but you also spent some time in Philadelphia. How much time and what did you get to see in Philadelphia? Well, we spent a couple hours in Philadelphia, and we went to the reading market where we ate food. And then we kind of just walked around. We saw a bunch of, um, like, we, we saw a lot of buildings that George Washington actually went into. Yeah. And then we saw the Liberty Bell in Independence Hall. Did you see the big crack in the Liberty mm -hmm. Bell? Nice. So that's awesome. You had, And it sounds like they were very knowledgeable tour guides telling you really interesting facts, too, that you guys came away with and, and knowing. Cole, you have another question here. And, and what do the 50 flags surrounding the base of the Washington Monument stand for? Oh, each flag marks a state in the Union present day. Perfect. Um, the Smithsonian. Let's talk about the Smithsonian. You went there. What was your favorite exhibit in the Smithsonian? Um, I really liked the athlete's floor at the Museum of African American History. Yep. Um, and I liked reading about all the barriers and history that they made and the barriers that they broke. And um, I think it was really cool to have, like, athletes all on one floor. And, like, you can read about all the different history that they made and everything. So if you're interested in athletes, yeah. you could just go to that one yeah. section. How about other areas that people liked? I liked the Natural History Museum. And I think it was called Making Art to Save the Ocean, but it was like a fish tank. And inside, it looked like sea turtles, fish, and like coral, but it was all made of plastic. So I thought it was like a cool message. Wow, Thanks. about plastics in the ocean yeah. and the environment and what the impact it has on the on the wildlife. Yeah. Wow, very powerful. Very, you guys got to experience a lot of cool things. Anyone else want to share anything else that they they saw at the museums? No. Okay. It sounds like you had a lot of fun. What is your favorite? part of the DC trip. I really like being able to spend time with their friends while learning about things we were learning about in school because I feel like it helps you learn it better or memorize it better. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. So you got to get to know your friends and and really some team building stuff as well as the academic learning that went on because you, you spent a long time on a bus, you got to spend the night in hotels, you got to walk around a lot with, with your peers, so you had some, some ways of connecting before you move on to high school as well together. Awesome, I'm glad you brought up that social aspect as well. What other favorite parts of the trip were there? I liked how we got freedom. Tell like me about that. We got that. to like go off by ourselves because when we went to the Museum of African American History, they said mm -hmm. you can go explore the rest of the Mu Smithsonian's by yourself, and I like that. Don't you think that's a, 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 a uh, showing how we trust you to be responsible? You're you're within this museum, and it's like, hey, look, you're you can walk around and see the different exhibits, but I'm sure they said meet us back here or wherever yes. they said, and uh, and you got to do that. Yeah, and also people learn at different speeds. So like some people might want to stay at one exhibit longer, and then some people might go faster. So. Or they might, as, as Ryan was talking about, go to certain areas that they have more interest in because can we see everything in those museums in the time that we're given? Mm -hmm. No, it's a very short time. Thanks for sharing that. What other f favorite parts of the trip? I really like the Library of Congress, mostly because it's like a really big and beautiful building, and the interior is like really like brilliantly set up, and there was just so many things to see, like a bunch of different topics about, so... I couldn't visit all of it because I was just stuck in a bunch of different areas, but that was my favorite part. Would you like to go back? Yes. Yeah, and see the rest of it? Anyone else? What do you want to um, say about your favorite part, Ryan? I thought everything was great. It's such an amazing trip, and there isn't much that you can't not like about it, so. Speaking about not liking about it, and I hesitate, but I'm curious. Was there a least favorite part of the trip that, that, that you guys experienced? Um, I just wish that we could stay there longer. And okay. We could maybe shorten up the days and make, make us stay more days because I think I was tired a lot of the days. So. Yeah. yeah. They cram a lot in, huh? Yeah. I mean, we do do a lot of walking, but I think it's good in the end. Good. It's a good workout. <laughs> it's a good workout. And the weather was pretty good, huh? You had yeah, pretty good yeah. weather this year, which was nice. 
Any other least favorite part of the trip? Well, one of the days it started raining when we were walking, so we had to run to a bunch of different places. We were soaking wet, but it was a good experience. Yeah. You still had made it made it fun? Yeah. Even though you got wet. Mm-hmm. It's part of life, right? We're going to get wet, I guess, once in a while. How about you, Cole? Oh, um, I really did not like how we didn't go to the Rocky Steps in Philadelphia, but yeah. yeah. You we missed missed that opportunity. Oh, you were supposed to? Yeah. We just ran out of time. Oh. Uh, okay. Have you seen the Rocky movie? The original? I think I have. You think you have? All right. I think I have. Yeah. I've never been there. Never seen the statue myself. Right. Um, why would you recommend so we take a lot of time out of school, right? You've clearly had a great learning experience, social learning experience. You 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 learned a lot and you've shared a lot. Why should, I'm the superintendent, why should you tell me and tell everyone else, why should we continue with this trip? What's the value of this trip going forward? Well, in social studies this year we're learning about U.S. history, and so there isn't really a better place to go than our nation's capital. So I think that it's important that we go there and see all the exhibits in the history of our nation. Yeah, that's a great answer. Anyone else want to contribute or just say, wow, thanks, Ryan, that's a great answer. Yeah, Yeah, I agree. (laughs) What advice, because now we're going to be doing the trip relatively soon for us in the fall with the next group of eighth graders, what advice do you have to them uh, for the trip, whether it's something to pack, something to prepare, something they should do? What advice do you have for the next trip? I would say not to take it for granted because you're there and you're like, wow, this is so cool, and don't spend too much time at one place because you want to go around and see what there is and don't get lost from your group because that actually happens. Oh, yeah. no, no. I also think that you should not, like, don't just think of it as a social, like, time. Also take in the information <coughs> and, like, try to learn something and take a lot of pictures. Take a lot of pictures, yeah. yeah. Other th- advice? I say pack a raincoat mm. or an umbrella because it did rain. Yep. That's a good piece of advice. Yeah. Um, come prepared for any weather and have fun. Um, rain or shine, just enjoy the trip. and. Nice. Yeah. Well, those are all the questions I have for you. Do you have anything else that I didn't ask that you wanted to share? This is an opportunity that you say, oh, I wish I had, you had asked this. Is there anything else that you want to share about the trip or advice or something you learned? Is there anything else that you'd like to... Um, not really, besides just make, sh- like, I definitely recommend going. Good. On the trip. Well, thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate you yeah. taking the time yeah. to come here and tell me about the trip and do this recording for everyone else to learn about this awesome trip because not everyone has an eighth grader in their household who gets to ask them about the trip. So you guys did an amazing job. Thank you so much for coming today and sharing all this wonderful uh, information about the trip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.